So name a circle. This would be the circle. To name it, you name it by the center point, so point C. So this would be circle C. Then it says name two radii. Radii is a plural form of radius. Radius is halfway across the circle. So segment AC is a radius. And then also segment CD is a radius. Okay. Um, while we're on things we know, next it says name a diameter. Diameter is all the way across the circle through the center. So it would be segment AD. And then we get to words that we don't know. Number three, it says name two chords. A chord, by definition, it's a segment with endpoints on the circle. So just quickly, a chord is a segment with endpoints on the circle. And some of the questions on your homework, as you know, your homework will be five questions. Probably half of them will be vocabulary like this. Segments with endpoints on, a, on the circle. So for example, um, the diameter is a chord, so be AD is a chord. And then the other chord we have here is BH. This would be a segment with endpoints on the circle. OK, another new word, secant. A secant is kind of like a chord, but it's actually a line that <coughs> intersects at two points on this circle. So a secant would be this entire line. So the chord is just the segment, but the secant is the whole line. So we could say this is line KG. And then tangent. What is a tangent? It's a line that intersects the circle at one point. So tangent is a line that intersects the circle at one point. So an example of that in this picture would be this line right here. This is our tangent line. So tangent would be line GE. And then the point of tangent C is where it intersects the actual circle, and that would be at F. So the point of tangent C is point F. This is something they've added to the curriculum this year. I don't know whether it'll be tested or not. I haven't seen it on testing before, but as you know, they kind of changed the standards a little bit. Um, so I'll just quickly go over this. Tell how many common tangents the circles have and draw them. State whether the tangents are external or internal tangents. So a tangent is a line that intersects the circle once, um, but they're wondering which tangents these guys have in common. So for example, if I was to draw a line like this, it would hit both of these at one point. So that would be a tangent line they have in common. And then if I was to draw one here, it would hit them each once. This would be a tangent line they have in common. Then I'm going in with another color. The other way we could draw a tangent line that would hit them both is like this and it would intersect here and here, and then one right here. So for this, there are two internal. So the internal ones are the ones that cross in the middle right there, and two external tangent lines.
number eight, the tangent lines that would hit both. There's one right here and one right here. So it hits here and here, here and here. So we have two external. And then for number nine, you could draw one right, a line right here that would hit both. So one external. And then for number 10, um, there's no line that you could draw that would only intersect the side once. So this is zero. Now we're gonna do some solving stuff. There is a th theorem. We're gonna keep it really simple. Um, there's actually two theorems with this lesson. The first one, just gonna write it at the top, and as you know, I'm gonna shorthand it as much as I can. It's called tangent line to circle theorem. Tangent line to circle theorem. I found this on the web. Thank you, but I don't need you. Okay, what the tangent line to circle theorem says is that tangent line is perpendicular to the radius. Tangent line are perpendicular to the radius. Zoom out or zoom in? Okay, so quickly just a little demonstration over here with a picture. Here's our circle. Here is our tangent line right here. Um, if we were to draw a radius right here, you could connect it and it would be perpendicular. So 90 degree angle. Then using that, we're going to answer the next couple questions. It says in exercise 11 through 14, um, tell whether AB is a tangent to circle C, explain your reasoning. Well, in these pictures, this is AB, your tangent line, wants to know if it is a tangent line. If it is, then this is a 90 degree angle, meaning that this is a right triangle and that it would follow Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to determine whether AB is actually a tangent line. Okay, so this would be your A and B, and then this is your C. So we can do six squared plus eight squared. Does that equal 10 squared? 100 does equal 100, so therefore, yes, A, B is tangent. Well, same kind of problem. It wants to know if AB is indeed tangent. So if we can do 9 squared plus 15 squared, and if that equals 18 squared, then it is a tangent line. Okay. So 81 plus 225 actually equals 306. That does not equal 324. So therefore, no, AB is not tangent. And then I'm gonna do one of these, either 13 or 14, let's see. Either one. Okay, so 13 and 14 are a little bit different than what we just did because they left a segment that's unlabeled. So here they're saying that the radius is 20, but they don't give us the whole length of that segment. Well, if the radius is 20, this would also be 20, and so forth, that whole thing would be 40. And you would do 48 squared plus 40 squared, and then test it with 60 squared, and see if it, you would see if it works. Um, however, this does not equal so this would be no. And then number 14, same kind of idea. 
Um, the only thing is, is they leave a segment that's not labeled. But they show that this radius is 12, so therefore this segment right here would be 12. And then that whole segment would be 8 plus 12, which is 20. So 16 squared plus 12 squared, you would test and see if that equals 20 squared. And this one actually does equal if you were to solve that all out, so it would be yes. Okay, moving on, we're just going to do one example from the next category. Um, point B is a point of tangency by the radius of circle C. Okay, so same idea. If this is tangent right here, then we have a 90 degree angle and we can use Pythagorean theorem. Um, we don't know either of those, we don't know the radius. So we're still going to use Pythagorean theorem, but it'll look a little bit different. So this would be your A and your B. So r squared plus 24 squared equals, and then your c squared, which is r plus 16. Okay, bringing in a little bit of algebra. This is definitely more of like an honors style question, but I want to introduce it because we have some honors level students in here. Um, what we would have to do is actually FOIL this one. Um, I don't know if you remember FOIL from algebra. You would do r plus 16 times r plus 16 and write it out like this. And FOIL would be first outside, inside, last. So first r times r is r squared. 16r plus 16r plus 16 times 16 equals 256. And then you would just solve. So kind of combining like terms r squared, 24 squared is 576. 16 plus 16, 32r plus 256. And continuing, the r squares kind of cancel, which is nice. I subtract 256 from both sides. Three twenty and thirty two R, so R equals ten. Page one more style of problem. Over here, we're gonna be focusing actually on the bottom half of the page, twenty three to twenty eight. We're not doing all of those, I'm just introducing the concept. The theorem for this is called external tangent congruence theorem. So based on this theorem, tangent segments from a common endpoint are congruent. So trying to abbreviate tangents from a common point are congruent. And so what that means is if you have a circle and a point out here, and then you have a tangent from that point on this side of the circle and a tangent from that point on this side, then this segment is equal to this segment. And so based on that, when you see a problem like this, all you have to do is set the expressions equal and solve for x. So because these are tangents, um, this is the same length as this, and we can do 2x plus 7 equals 5x minus 8 to solve for x. Okay, for these problems, it just says to find the value of x. It doesn't say it wants the actual length of the segment. So as soon as we find x, we're done. We'll just do one more like this. We'll do number 24. Again, these tangent lines are from the same endpoint. We're told that they're tangent lines, so therefore this is equal to this. 3x plus 10 equals 7x minus 8. 